Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to more Let's Play Star Ocean, the second story. In our previous episode, we dedicated that very, very long 40-ish minute video to going through the survival test at the Fun City Battle Arena, and as a result of our efforts and hard work, we were able to acquire the fortune, which I slapped on Ernest, and again, just as a quick rundown, it's basically just the next version of the trickster slash mischief so it's not something that you absolutely have to have i kind of noted this towards the beginning of the previous episode that since it was going to be so long and a showcase of a very specific thing that you can do it isn't really imperative to the story or even to the extra bonus stuff that we are tackling so it was just one of those other little extra secrets that i wanted to just go ahead and throw out there for you guys i know quite a few people don't even realize that there is a third one of these item dropping accessories so that was that was it i just wanted to show you that that's how you get it and this is what it looks like so today as we're running through the cave of trials you will get to see what sorts of upgraded items we get as a result of having this as opposed to the previous one so that is it for that let's go ahead and part ways here as i make my way all the way back to the level where we last were because today i want us to go ahead and tackle level four of the cave of trials and depending on how i feel we might tackle level five as well i don't know what's going on but i am kind of dealing with a cold and getting over it so i'm feeling not so great and i have a lot of stuff happening in the next couple of days and actually the next week really so yeah anyway i'm just gonna part ways with you guys as i just said and i will meet you at the end of level three and we will tackle level four together so i'll see you in just a moment my friends welcome back everyone so as you can see we are right here on the main part of level three called single path cave and before we well actually let's get in a fight before we do anything else but i was going to say before we head down to level four i do want to just go ahead and show you where our levels are at uh, i do want to also show you that healing star is pretty much at its max proficiency so i guess i can show you how much it's healing for right now which is really cool because we aren't even on level four and it's not too far away from being max. So when it is completely at max proficiency, I think it heals for like 51, 100, 5200. I can never remember you guys. I remember, was it the last time I played? I thought it ended up healing for like 6,000 at max proficiency. But now that we are so close to it, I'll just go ahead and show you. Yeah, it's at 981. It's not going to be healing us more than 5,200. I think it's 5,150, though. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. We'll end up seeing as soon as it is maxed out. But, yeah. So, you can kind of see everything's come back around full circle. We are barely even in the Cave of Trials, and it's already done. So, I think that's pretty cool. And if you just kind of followed along with me, you will see that everything ended up working out just fine. Oh, I also do need to go ahead and turn practice off. I talked about this a little bit at the start of my previous episode as well uh, when I was mentioning to you guys just ways that I like to get a little bit more XP and making sure that I practice while going through the levels that I had been on before. It's a really good way of kind of increasing the experience that you're going to be getting through those extra battles. But anyway, I don't want to dedicate more time to that. You can see our levels here. Ernest is about to level up, so that will be pretty cool. I am going to just quickly put some points here. I'm, I don't really think at this point I care too much about what goes where. I think we're doing okay, honestly. So um, let's go ahead and just put it into mental training. Claude, you haven't leveled up, but Leon has. And I realized that I haven't let you guys hear his new ability yet, have I? So I'll be sure to actively make him say or do something revolving around that when the opportunity arises, which should be in our next fight. So anyway, let's head down, okay, to level four, which is Dancing God Altar. So let's start by going over here. And as you can see, there are two chests. And this often is kind of tricky for some people. They're like, how the hell do I get to these chests? Well, I will show you after this fight. Oh my goodness. Here's the enemy. So yeah, again, I mentioned this at the start of this episode itself that I'm not feeling so hot, so I apologize if my voice is a little bit raspy. I don't know what's going on. But I need to kind of sleep it off, so 
My hope is that I'll be able to take you through level four, Dancing God Altar, as well as level five, but we'll just have to see how things go. And there is Ernest's level, so that is great. But I'll worry about the points here in a second. I want to show you that it's as easy as just running through this lower segment. They're basically fake walls. And I remember the first time I discovered that, I was so pissed off. It was like, really, game? All right, Claude and Leon got levels, which is great, because that means more skill points. But we will look at that menu in just a second, because dun, 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 we got a special ability for Leon, which is called Extinction. So, of course, we're going to have to hop into our menu anyway, so we can check that out. So, I think this is a really cool ability for Leon. Admittedly, since I don't normally use Leon when I am planning on doing all of like my extra stuff, just because of reasons I've explained before, that I feel the game kind of punishes the mages later on. They really fall off compared to your bruisers slash DPSers. Just dealing raw damage tends to be better overall than however powerful your spells can end up being. But it doesn't really matter. I am all down for challenges, so that is why Leon is here in the party. And as you can see from the description, Extinction is a spell that attacks all enemies on the screen with a very strong energy. So I'm going to show you that. And then what was the other spell we got? That I, I think it was Dark Circle, actually, because it has a zero proficiency, which means it has never been used. I think everything else you guys have seen at least once. I've tried to make an effort to show everything else. So I will take control of Leon in our next battle, and I will make sure you guys get to see that, as well as giving me the opportunity to open up some of those sound bites. All right, so let's just max... Well, not max it, but let's just throw those points there. And Claude, I will go ahead and... I don't really like Flip that much. It's not bad, but whatever. I'll just go ahead and do it. Ernest, you still have a ways to go, my friend. And let's throw his points. Ah, what the hell. And we'll go ahead and give him strong blow. <laughs> Although this is pretty worthless on Leon in terms of how it impacts you in battle, I think it's okay. And just not to waste any points, let's throw those there. And let's continue exploring this level. Well, Leon was a twat and cast Extinction twice in that battle, but that's okay. He didn't say anything, so we'll still get a soundbite, hopefully. Anyway, let's go ahead and chat with this mistaken fighting man who says, They say a horrible war god is on this level. How terrible! But he is mistaken, so... Let's go ahead and head to the right. Ooh, okay, perfect. New battle. Oh, come on, Leon. What the hell are you doing? I think he's casting Extinction, actually, because it's taking him so long to cue it. I think he says something for it, but I haven't heard him say anything, and this is the third time he has utilized the spell, so I don't know. But at least you get to see the animation for it. I'm sure he'll eventually pipe up and say something. All right, and then the other thing you guys needed to see was Dark Circle, I believe. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. All right, there we go. I think the animation for the spell is pretty cool, personally. And it's done. So now I'll go back to using Opera. And I think Healing Star is almost finished. I've been spamming it still, just so that we can get closer to having it already done. So I can officially say Healing Star is healing for 5160. So I think that is it, not 5150. It's always hard to remember exactly what it's going to do, even though it, it, I shouldn't forget because I almost always choose Opera. Although I do like Ashton as well, who is the alternative. But whatever, you, you have to pick one or the other, which I still think is a really stupid call. Because if I had the choice... I would certainly forego Ernest and get Opera and Ashton. So I don't know what their thoughts on that were when they made that choice. But I want to point out, Leon actually said Extinction when he cast it in that last fight, which is really strange. I don't know why now he chose to pipe up. But that's okay. At least we unlocked it. I thought so. I remembered 
hearing him say that and having that. Oops, I did not mean to do that, you guys. Ernest also has some points here that are free-floating. And you know what, Ernest? I really don't care right now. Might as well unlock this, I guess. And we'll put some encourage. And how about we give you some parry? Flip will be okay. And then I'll just throw some in Gale. I'm going to eventually want to get rid of my bunny shoes. So I don't think Gale is worth prioritizing over some of the other ones. But if you're like me and you're pretty much in I don't give a fuck mode, then it doesn't... I mean, I don't think it really matters right now. So anyway, now that we are in this room, we can go through by just coming down there. So this floor is notorious for its bullshit fake walls. But anyway, we are going to go ahead and flip this lever here. I heard a door opening in the distance, says Claude. Not specialty. I may just wait and assign these points without you guys. I don't want to keep slowing down our progress just to do this. It seems a little bit silly, I think. All right, well, now that we have done that, let's head out of this room. We are finished up here. Oh, thank you for that 522 full. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So now that we are here, let's head up. And we are going to eventually have to backtrack a little bit, so I will go ahead and pause the camera, but not before showing off this seraphic garb that we found, which, as you guys know, I think is a really, really nice set of armor. Claude is sporting the other one that we acquired. So I, I'm kind of torn. I may give it to Ernest, actually. Yeah, let me go ahead and give it to Asshat. I mean, I want to make sure he doesn't die. Yeah, I think that might be the best call here. But anyway, like I just said, I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera because I do need to run all the way back to the very first room when we, you know, take the stairs that lead us here. So I don't want to make you guys watch me get into probably like the two to four fights that may occur as I make my way over there. So I will just see you when I am in that room. Be right back, everybody. Welcome back, guys. So that did take me exactly four fights to get over here. So it was definitely worth it to part ways and just let you guys avoid all of those shenanigans. But let's go ahead and run into this room as well. And as you can likely see just from where I brought you back, the middle door is now open. It previously had been closed, and that was the whole purpose of us flipping that switch in that very strange room. So let's head up here immediately. And Claude says, who are you? I am the ruler of music. Play for me an immortal melody to soothe my heart. Who will play? Okay, so it's definitely best to pick someone who obviously is at level 10 for their music ability, but also you want to pick someone who has pitch. I don't know actually if Opera has the talent pitch, but she's always been my musician in the past, so I feel like she's a decent choice here, but if Opera isn't in your party or Opera hasn't been the one that you have been using in the past to play Hail the Goddess while you're crafting or doing whatever the, the hell you need to be done using the music, then pick whoever that person is because that is going to be your best bet here. So going to go ahead and select Opera, long story short. Well, why the heck not, she says. I'm like trying to be quiet so you guys can hear this. <laughs> All right, so basically before we even read what the God of Dance is saying, if you have someone that does play the song well enough, she's going to give you a gift. If she doesn't like the way it sounds or you pick someone who's not level 10 in music or, I mean, I don't know. If you just pick someone who's shit for this, then 
you're not going to get anything. So anyway, the God of Dance continues, what tone, how divine you are worthy of this instrument. So we receive the very rare elusive shamisen, which is pretty cool. I'll show you guys here in just a second what the description for it is. And now, farewell. And that's really all there is to this room. Again, it's not one of those things, I guess, that you need to worry that much about. It's not going to make or break your ability to tackle Indelicio with his limiter off, but I still think it's pretty nice to get. Why mysterious? Only the god of creation, Tria, knows the answer to this mystery. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> it is an instrument, though. So I just like to go ahead and highlight that for you. And again, I'm so sorry, you guys. I feel like my nose is so stuffy and I'm not pronouncing things very clearly. So you have my sincerest apologies. But we're pretty much done on this floor with the exception of what awaits us up here. So I don't think that this floor is too bad. It's not that hard. It's just if you don't figure out that the walls can go through. Well, I shouldn't say that the walls can go through, but rather that you can go through the walls. If you can't figure that out, then obviously this is going to be a major pain in the ass. But just kind of root around and <laughs> throw yourself against every single wall here, and you should be fine. Well, actually, you don't have to, because I showed you what what and where everything is. But anyway, the boss, Meal32, says, Intruder alert, no ally identification detected. Classified as enemy, run expulsion program, initiate expulsion routine. There you go, guys. I tried to put a little bit more energy into Bad. that. Here's the enemy. I'm okay, so I need to heal on. Leon. Well, it's not necessary, I guess, but... This guy is not too big of a deal. So, similarly to most of the bosses that we've faced so far, I don't really have a particular strategy that I would recommend. I would just say, try to keep him peeped and DPS him to death, and you should be successful with this. Well, thank you, Leon, for that wonderful contribution. Oh, he's all out of mana. That's why he did that. So actually, what I will do after this... I feel like these floors have been paced so perfectly, you guys. We're getting an episode each floor, which is exactly what I was wanting. So what I will likely do is... Obviously, I will end the video here, and I will run back out to save for reasons I've explained numerous times that I think it's a good idea just to err on the side of caution and go ahead and save in between each floor, especially on these earlier floors where it's not that big of a deal to run all the way back up. And I like to go back to Arlia to go ahead and sleep as well. So that's just something that I choose to do. But you don't have to do that. That's what items are for as well to save you a little bit of time. But anyway, he says, intruder meets all requirements. Enable intrusion, enable intrusion, enable intrusion. Okay, great. And that's it. You don't get anything from beating that asshat, which I guess makes sense since you get the shamisen if you use someone who has a good musical talent. And you know what? Let me actually see. I don't know. Okay, so Opera does have pitch, which makes sense why she has consistently been the only person in my party who doesn't suck ass. You know what? That doesn't make sense, though, because Claude has pitch as well, but I don't think it's music. Is this music? I don't even know if it is or not. It should be, actually. So I don't know why Claude even fails when it comes to playing instruments a lot. So I don't know what that's all about. Holy shit, Ernest is useless. <laughs> I've not really been able to use him for anything. And yeah, Leon has pitch also. I think we've looked at that before when I was first explaining you to you guys how I like to play Hail the Goddess when doing item customization or item crafting because it does increase your success rate. And I thought it was so strange that people in my party who had pitch and also were okay in terms of their musical talents were not playing the instruments right so or playing the song anyway specifically right so i don't know what's up with that but opera has always been my best bet so my best advice to you regarding dealing with that individual who gave us the shamisen just make sure that you use the person who has been able to consistently play hail the goddess for you successfully and that's all i have to say about that so 
Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, again, I want to apologize for like the third or fourth time for not sounding myself and maybe being a little bit lackluster as well. I'm trying to fight this cold and I'm pretty much over it, I guess. I don't have a fever, but I am absolutely feeling congested and just kind of yucky. So yeah, you do have my apologies. I try to be as animated and chipper and upbeat as possible when playing these. And I do want to let you know I am in great spirits, but I just am not feeling so hot. So hopefully when we come back together for level five, I will be in better health. So we'll just kind of have to see. I might go ahead and record again today for that. I don't know. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Don't need it to go on for any longer. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed watching me tackle level four of the Cave of Trials, known as Dancing God Altar. And I will see you next time when we take on level five. Take care until then, everybody. Bye.